Hey guys, what's happening? It's Christopher Cedar, and in this quick little video, I want to show you how I go about sending out real estate contracts with FreedomSoft. Now, what I have here, this is the state local realtor contract for Montana. And what I do is, before I upload it to FreedomSoft, I fill it out with all of the normal information that I usually put in. Uh, you know, my here's one of my company names. Put in cash or hard money. Uh, you can check, you know, conventional, whatever you want. I initial the contract. Check off anything necessary that's on your contract. Like this one's checked. On date of recording of deed, so that's when we'll take title. And all these other things will be auto-filled by FreedomSoft, so we'll get there. Earnest money, you know, that'll all get filled in by FreedomSoft. Cedar Capital, you know, all this fun stuff. Property is equipped with that stuff. Just saying that I'm doing an inspection, you know, check off all those marks. Any contingencies that you want to put in. You know, I put in that I'm a licensed realtor, all that fun stuff. You know, whatever it may be, deeded by warranty deed, all my initials, blah, blah, blah. I've marked this section out that says that I cannot assign the contract. Um, so if I cross this out, initial it, that means I can assign the contract. Lead-based paint, mold meth disclosures, whatever it may be, my signature, all of that fun stuff. So that's what I do there. And then uh, what I ended up doing is, here's a property I just loaded, uploaded in here that I'll, um, example, make an offer on. Now what I do is go to settings. You know, you can just go to your settings here. Go to templates. And then in here you'll have templates. Uh, different documents that you can build. You can see I have Arizona State, Colorado State contract, um, tons of different contracts in here. And then just add new document. And this one I'm going to do uh, see Montana State contract. And then just choose your file. And I don't know if I saved this thing, so we should probably save it first. And I want to save it on my desktop so I can find it. So there we go, that's saved. Now we'll choose our file. We'll upload this bad boy real quick. Now there's Cedar Capital. So we've selected the file. And then we're creating our template here. Um, now this is a, a pretty simple process, and we'll kind of go through it once it, it saves. What we then want to do is go through and just add in all of the necessary fields that we need to in order to make it work with FreedomSoft. And you only really need to do this once. Once you do it once, it will automatically um, be in there for all of your properties. And then it, it really just takes a couple seconds to go in, fill in a couple lines make your offers and then you're you're good to go so we'll wait while this is saving and then maybe i'll edit out this section oh nope i didn't even need to so here we go here is our contract um, now we go page by page here and we want to put in our variables so variables will be this is a uh, pretty much our company information There's buyer variables. All these different things that we can put in here. Um, so what we want to do is 
go through here we want to put in property address so we'll stick that in Let's see if I can do this here property address then you can see here here's city then property city county of property county and then legal description we may have to do a custom variable so what we'll do there is insert custom and we will put in legal so then and then right here we'll go in and insert in current date so then boom you can see that little section is done you don't really have to worry about any of these sections unless you want to and then we're gonna go here is another property variable this will be purchase price or you know you can really put in whatever you want here um, I usually just put in this one here offer bought price so that's what you're gonna offer and that's that's just one of the the variables that I use you want to put in your earnest money deposit and then go down and put in your offer about price again And then what I do here is I put in a custom variable, and this will be uh, what is it called? The uh, balance. And that's just pretty much the offer price subtracted from the deposit. So we'll put that in there, and they may even have a. Yeah, they, they actually have offer bought the balance in there. So um, I can go in there and put that balance section in there. And then that's for the first page. And then you just go through all these different pages, closing date. So you stick in here. And if they, they don't have a, a closing date little thing in here, just go insert custom variable and just leave that as you can see leave those lines around there and that little explanation point and put in custom date and this is closing date may be extended without amendment by not more than you know that's one of those things that if we're making offers I'll put like 15 days so we can extend it there and then in here you'll put in the same thing you did before the offer bought deposit same thing here offer bought deposit and then just go through we're not doing a loan so we're good there this section here we're good to go and then you can do your inspection period release date so what I just do is a custom variable inspection date so just put that in there so whatever the this property you know this agreement is contingent upon this property passing our inspection put in the date that that expires and then let's see provisions you know, none of that stuff we need to mess with none of this stuff we do and then here's what you can do too is you can uh, put in the name of the listing broker and the selling broker so what you'd want to do here is 
this top one, just put the the selling agent. So check that little box. And this bottom one, just check the buyer's agent. So what you want to do here is all you really need is the name. Insert custom seller's agent. And all, all state contracts are different. Seller's agent office. And then down here, insert custom, buyer's agent. Same thing here. Hit insert custom. So then boom, then you can enter your, your buyers. Um, in here you can enter your the date, how many days you're giving them. Um, so what I would almost do is just do, you know, whatever you want to give them, three days or whatnot. So we'll insert custom. Commitment date. So we'll put that in there. And in here I'll just... I'll give them till 5 p.m. that date. And then boom. As you can see, we are pretty much all done. All of this stuff is, is good to go. I guess we can, we should stick in here current date. And I usually just say like 9 a.m. or something like that, whatever it may be. So that'll be in all your contracts. And then you hit save. And that's pretty much how you go about filling out a contract. And then the next step here is you go to your properties and see this property that I just inserted in here. Um, it's an MLS property. So what I would do is then just go over to generate document. And then what you're going to have to do is go down and find that document that you just created. So. I don't remember what I labeled it as. I think it was Cedar Capital Montana State Contract. So then you select that, whatever it might be. And what you can also do, what's cool about this, is you can also make packages um, back in the custom thing. So like here I have Cedar Capital LLC State Contract and Documents. So what I ended up doing back in the settings was I made a, a package and I have my state contract in there plus what I have is my mold disclosure uh, my proof of funds lead based paint all the other addendums that I need inside that little package there which makes it really handy so there we go um, you can see here won't really worry about county but what I then can do is just come down here enter these things into the legal description, I'd get off at the courthouse, offer price, uh, deposit, property balance, <clears throat> closing date, whenever I want to close on this thing, inspection period, however long I want there, whoever the listing broker is, oh, that's their office. My buyer's agent, and then the commitment date. So we'll give them till tomorrow, whatever that is. So enter that in there. Once you have those, and then boom, as you can see here. I'll have to fix this Yellowstone. Yellowstone County, legal description, all of this stuff that we put in there gets, I'll go down to, to price here. You can see your price gets put in there, deposit, whatever that is. Yo, it all gets added in there, and I should have actually whited out this zero, zero balance, whatever they they per they I accidentally had in there but for this sample it's fine 
what else? You can see on this page, earnest money's in there, closing date, all of this stuff that that I had put in is in there. Listing broker name, my name there, everything's in there perfectly. And then all you do is just hit complete. And then boom, your document is generated. It just takes a couple seconds. Um, it might take a little longer with me shooting a video, but just take a, takes a couple seconds to generate. And then what you can do is, what's really cool is, you can just hit email. You can Yeah, it's going to take a, a little while exactly to generate while I'm shooting a video. But um, what you then can do is just select that, hit email, and then boom. You can email your contract straight out to the realtor that you're working with, your buyer's agent, whoever it may be. So that's a really, really cool feature with this. Um, remember, if you want to check out FreedomSoft, uh, go to the link below in this YouTube video, freedomsoft-4.com. Check that out. Check out their free trial. It's awesome. You know, you can test drive all these different features that FreedomSoft has and really have fun with it. So that's all I have for you, and I'll see you in a, another video.